Mike Tyson versus Buster Mathis Jr. was supposed to be the appetizer before the feast that was Riddick Bowe, Evander Holyfield 3. It had been a championship back and forth. Bowe had taken a 12 round war in 1992, but Holyfield reclaimed the belts a year later. He's lessened by that second loss there against Holyfield, that second fight. I think he's come ready tonight. Set minded Michael Moore, Moore, the first Southpaw heavyweight champion. And after that fight, was just as big a fight in the career of Evander. Holyfield, but knows with a heart defect. He went through weeks of talking to doctors, faith healers, and finally went to the Mayo Clinic, and they said the defect never even existed, and they cleared the way of what the doctors at the Mayo Clinic said. We will look out for that conditioning and those issues tonight. And here comes Big Dad Riddick Bowe. As you can see from his pre-fight wardrobe, a proud father of five, he feels that he has matured with the jab. Well, it's no secret, as we mentioned, when Riddick Bowe is in shape, he has one of the most effective. There's no champion here tonight, but Bo enters the ring as the honor reserve for the champion. The infighting, he has that power, and he can do damage there. Evander! Real Hill Holy Big Daddy Boom. All right, gentlemen, give me good sportsman like conduct. Understood? All right, shake hands, good luck to both of you. Where's low range, Joel? Even though he's a smaller man, he can be more effective and can be busier. Holyfield, Riddick Bo, Bo, a three to one favorite here in the Vegas sports books to Holyfield three. The final chapter is underway from Caesars Palace. And right across that six foot two frame. Remember, he was the cruiserweight, the undisputed cruiserweight. Jab doubles it up there. Good movement from Holyfield. And then he places a right hand boxing lesson. Exactly right. Comes to the inside that time, gets two punches off before they tie up. Or to it, that should concern Holyfield. Let him out, let him out, let him out. Especially if Bo can utilize that questions as to this addition of Evander Holyfield after all the controversy and the medical events after the more far off to a good start. We'll see how he holds up as the night goes onward. There's a nice jazz. Bo just misses with a right hand, and Holyfield fires back one of his own, coming to the end of. But, but you can't throw one punch because he's going to tower two. Right. That Riddick Bowe and Evander Holyfield would have such a great sense of each other, but yet needing to be reminded of the basics as it ever created tremendous results. Such electrifying action between. Misses with the right hand. Holyfield came under it. Try to right of his own. Back to the jab at range for. He was so successful in the first round. He go back to what he was doing. Moving, being light in his feet, thinking light. Just it was Bo who got the better of it. Came over with the right hand. Bo has that height advantage. It just seems pretty cool. Oh, and they're still oh. going after the belly. Yes. Look at this. Don't even I know that. Yeah. Side, tying up. Everyone talks about Riddick Bowe's jab and how great it is, and it is, but he's a great inside fighter, and you can see these ripping uppercuts, ripping great to come with that emotion letting loose and overflowing there as to where this fight could be headed. Watch here by Riddick Bowe. You gotta wonder why Evander Holyfield wants to stay inside there. Good uppercuts by Bowe. There's that uppercut again. But of course, if Holyfield's getting to come back one of his, his own, own uppercut. One of his own, a right uppercut. But then they trade. And Bo digs in. Left hand on the inside. Right hand uppercut fires off. Tries to dig underneath again. Up, oh, that was low. That looked low. First round. It seems this entire round has been fought with these two men just a couple of inches away from each other. They each have had their moments. For Bo, it has been the operation who will get the best of it. 
Holyfield misses with a lunging left hook. Right uppercut of his own. Just because of it, Riddick just got lazy for one second. The upper punch in boxing to see, to, to defend, to protect yourself. And then Bo answers back with some nice body shots of his own. Great inside. For the third time, sitting in there, matching punch for punch with a 240 pound prime Riddick Bo. But that go out of his game plan where he should be boxing like he opened up this round with a couple of great jabs. Bo scores with a right hand of his own. Combination from Bo. Fall back to the inside and don't let Holyfield move like the way he's doing there. This looks like Keep a tail of two rounds compared to the Holyfield that opened up this four. Here he comes again in his spots and Bo answers back. Just when you think he's slowing, he comes back with a combination. Tommy, Tommy, chill out, chill out, chill out, man. It's okay. Huh? No, man. No, no, no. no man. Well, this is action from round four. This is the type of aggression we need to see from Holyfield more throughout the fight. Even though Bo misses a few shots here. Left hook. And we need to see this type of aggression. More punches, more punch volume. Even though you're missing shots, you need to stay more active, more busy. Definitely what Don Turner and Tommy Brooks want to see, but what they saw from Evander Holyfield. Really familiar with uh, seeing out of Evander Holyfield. Evander Holyfield is a very well conditioned athlete. You don't see much blood out of this guy. And in spring of 94, when he was diagnosed with a heart defect, only to be cleared later. A jab for Riddick Bowe. Holyfield just falls oh, bring in. Up, bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up. He's taking a deep breath, Joe. And he's moving backwards. It's not something we're real familiar with seeing. Oh, 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 low, low. oh man. Low, low. He looks exhausted. This would be a good time for him to take some time. He has up to five minutes with that low blow to rest up and let referee right. Joe Cortez know when he's able to continue. Maybe he needs the rest right now. Now, are you surprised that he nodded to Joe Cortez? There was a point deduction into Riddick Bowe, but he came back to funny attack. No, I'm not surprised. He's Evander Holyfield's a warrior. That's right. He doesn't care. That's his mentality. But he looks off balance here. He's answering right, back, on, but he's on, not effective. On, he looks on. that not be in the back of anybody's mind who's sitting here at Caesars Palace. Holyfield. Tries to go with desperate fight. the situation is. It sure it would just landed a nice hook, Holyfield. Holyfield trying to come back. Holyfield, oh. good left hook. Holy cow! What a turnaround! Can hey. you believe this? Now that Seven. just hey. when you think he's How getting beat. You all right? For the first time in the career of my and a right hand. hand. Pass. Holyfield on the attack. And give it my all of the sixth round, especially at the top of the round. He lands that left hook so effectively, Riddick Bowe didn't even see it coming. Keep in mind, at the end of the fifth round, both the ringside physician and the referee were in the corner of a Vander Holy. This fight was headed to a place that Holyfield didn't want to see. It's just. Bo creates a little bit of separation, nice but there's a left hand from Holyfield, and now trade a little more. Good exchange here. Knockdown. He's coming forward. Here comes Holyfield, but he oh. gets caught by a short right. Five, He's hurt, Joe. Seven, he is hurt badly. Eight. He might. Nine. Joe you? Cortez. It's over. That's, That's over. it. That's it. That's it That's is it. over. That's it. All the battles, all the wars. Good scene for Holyfield, Joe Not Macy. Not a good scene at all, Joe. But it was a great combination, but he gets caught with a short right hand there. Bad timing, leaning forward, and Holyfield goes down. You know, his corner said, don't stay. A little short right hand. Holyfield almost can't help himself. There, there was is. the punch. He gets on the but attack. I didn't think he was getting up from the first knockdown. This is the second knockdown right here. He just doesn't have his legs underneath him. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the site where legends are made, Caesar's Palace. Daddy! Boy! Oh, thank you, man. I'll come up with what we 
love you, man. <laughs>